Hello everyone, my name is Taesu Kim from Johns Hopkins University and I'll be presenting our workshop paper. Given an image of a vehicle uh, shown here, the vision field has come a very long way in terms of what we can detect, segment, and parse in the image. But current models do not generalize so well to new environments, uh, new objects, and cannot really detect fine-grained parts of vehicles that effectively. This is especially a big problem when working with vehicle images because vehicles have uh, naturally have moving parts, and the appearance of vehicles change very frequently as, uh, as new cars are released yearly. We need a model that can generalize well and be able to detect parts of vehicles. To solve these problems, one will have to collect sufficiently large and diverse data sets to train these models. However, annotating large scale data sets may be expensive and sometimes even impossible. When access to a large annotated data set is limited, practitioners typically uh, rely on pre-training a deep model on some large scale but unrelated data sets such as ImageNet and later fine tune the poorly initialized model using a small set of annotated samples from the target domain. Our experiments show that this standard practice often leads to models with suboptimal performance. Also, we wish to come up with a better way to exploit information regarding the 3D geometry of the scene and the objects during training. This work, we present a synthetic data set, a simulated articulated vehicles data set, or SAVED, which is used to train a model for recognizing vehicle parts and estimating vehicle orientation. And using SAVED, we present the first approach to recognize parts of vehicles and their states, such as open doors or closed trunks from natural images. We also suggest an approach for making better use of simulated data for training deep networks. We find that we can use simulation data uh, better when we pre-train the simulation and then later fine-tune to real images. We later show we can improve state-of-the-art models simply by uh, pre-training on our data set. And finally, we present an approach for pre-training with simulation data. We exploit the fact that simulators provide information regarding 3D geometry of the scene. We show that by predicting geometric, geometric signals as an auxiliary task during pre-training phase leads to better models down the road. In contrast to existing real or synthetic data sets of vehicles, SAVED has movable parts of the, uh, SAVED contains cars with movable parts such as doors, trunks, and hoods with ground truth annotations on how much the vehicle part is rotated about its axis. We also provide depth, uh, surface normal, and semantic part labels as well. We use Unreal Engine 4 as our renderer of choice and use Unreal CV software to interact with the uh, virtual environment. We simulate vehicles by rendering the 3D CAD models provided by ShapeNet. Uh, please visit our poster to find out more about how we make ShapeNet cars uh, shape net doors and trunks movable and render them. We also present a simple yet effective approach to train using simulation data. The idea is to use the available 3D geometry signals that we can extract from the simulator during the pre-training phase. We use an encoder-decoder framework to jointly predict task labels and geometry of the scene. We evaluate on a task to predict attributes of vehicle parts such as open or closed doors. For this purpose, we manually annotated a small subset of videos from a surveillance action recognition dataset called the DIVA dataset. We fine-tune a ResNet 101 model that is pre-trained on ImageNet and show that we can achieve a 75% accuracy as a baseline. Uh, this model predicts the attributes of uh, vehicle parts. We show that naively joint training with real and synthetic images does not gain us much, but instead, we show that a simple pre-trained and fine-tuned approach gives us a bigger boost in performance. When we attach a decoder to the output of an encoder and pre-train using our multi-task multi framework, we see bigger gains. We tried a model that predicts normal and a model that predicts steps, and we show pretty much equivalent performance gains. We also tried using SAVED for the task of vehicle orientation estimation using publicly available EPFL dataset. We show that by simply taking the state-of-the-art models and pre-training them on our data, we see large improvements, even decreasing the error rates by 50%. Thank you, and please visit our poster for more information.